Hey, what's up guys? Swox, we're back here, and today we are going to be playing some Arcane Hunter. For those who don't know what Arcane Hunter is, which I didn't before this, um, you basically focus on buffing your Arcane spells. There's a couple cards like this that will buff one, but then there's the new Legendary that buffs all of them. And there was another card that buffed the ones in your hand. Where was it? There, right? This is buff all the ones in your hand, so that's why you'll have, like, Arcane shots that deal 4 or 5 damage. Um... Besides that, you kind of just burn your opponent. You can win through Tavish. Hope is really, really good for you. This card looks really, really interesting. Sadly, it's not Arcane, but it still seems pretty cool. It's also sub-theme Nagas with the Aerosmith, the Rainbow Glow Dance, and Raj. Um, but yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, how about we try it out and let's see how it goes. All right, guys? Oh, yeah. I forgot to say that this, this is a deck recommended by you guys. So if you guys have any other deck recommendations, leave them down below. And I will try to get to all of them. Anyways, with that being said, let's skip the first game and let's see how it goes. Alright. First game is against a Shaman. Clearly don't want this in my opener. I'm gonna like that. Keep this, because if it is a token, like this can help a lot, especially if I do draw the cards that buff the arcane spells. Uh, such as... Where is she? I lost her again. There, right here. All right. This hand's okay. Interesting. We're hoping to find uh, clearly the, the the big cards that affect it, but yeah. Oh, speaking of the big cards that affect it, it's also not quest, so that's interesting. Anyways, before we get too much more into the video, I hope everybody has a beverage. I'm currently drinking myself an uh, an energy drink. Yes, uh, but it's more specifically a monster. Because I need caffeine, clearly, at 5 o'clock at night. Also, if I mute my mic more often than not, don't worry. I currently have chili seeds up in my nose, and it hurts a lot. But I'm living with it. A lot of the pain has them down, but uh, I was cooking dinner. There was seeds on my fingers and scratched my nose. All of a sudden, my face is on fire. Uh, let's just do this here. Next turn we play the Legendary, buff the spells in our hand and our deck. Hopefully we find some other cards so we can just start throwing bird spells at him and have him slowly but surely die. Uh, yeah. All right. This deck actually looks really, really interesting. I do hope that there are sub decks like this that are Hunter that are still playable. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Quest Hunter, I'll admit it, but I kind of do miss, honestly, I just find there's not that many decks currently that I find playable in the format. And I do miss when there is, I'm, I much prefer when there's 15, 16 playable decks uh, that I think could all like fairly easily hit Legend compared to now where I feel like there's like only like four or five playable decks and it makes it so with fewer playable decks, it makes your job easier, right? Like straight up, it makes your job way easier um, because it's easier to counter pick your, the, your matchups and everything. So, you know. There is bonuses to it. That is so good with this. Play the Naga while holding this. Choose a second target. Pretty good. I also do really like the, the Naga sub theme in this deck. I think it's, it's pretty solid. I want to keep the Ricochet shot. Um, because I have this, right? So that's like two mana kill three things or two things and deal two damage to your opponent. It's pretty good. Also, I have like other spells, obviously. Like, see, I can, depending what I draw, I might just do that here. I could just do this here. Is it will kill this? Yeah, I'll just probably do that. Let's see what this gives me first. Guess I'll take this. No, this seems fine. The only thing that kind of sucks is now if he plays Mutants, he does get to eat this, but I think that should be fine. We're just going for the slow beats uh, route to kill him. You can probably start pressing this every turn. Maybe he doesn't Mutants me, so I do get a look at the top three. So like this would also be pretty interesting to get. So right now this is someone two four fours. It's not bad. 
I don't think he's gonna use a Firemancer Flurry here. Um, personally, like that just doesn't seem like a decent line for him to do, but he might. Never know. Uh, oh, he's actually using it. Okay. I was not expecting that, if I'm being honest. Yeah, fuck me. I kind of wanted to cast that tracking, not gonna lie. Ugh, this hand is awful. 4, 8, 10, 16. A lot of damage. You know how I kill this, I'm one, I die exactsies, right, 10, 17, yeah. Fuck. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. If I had one more turn, I mean, potentially the, the big eight mana spell could have, like, sniped, like, these two and then a token that he summons, and then it just had lethal, but... Oh, uh, that Lothal was really, really good for him. Oh. Anyways, let's get the next one and hopefully have it go better. All right, guys, yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right. Death Knight. This is fine. Uh -oh, I probably want to cut this as well. I was like, these two are like really good together on six. Like I play this on four or play a spell while holding this, right? And then I can do this on six. It's like pretty good. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna try for it. Okay, so it's even. I'm not sure how this matchup's gonna go. I just hope it goes well. Okay, that's pretty good. I do have some Nagas in hand, so should help at dealing with some early game threats from him. This here. We just actually play this. No. So okay. So now what I'm thinking the play is gonna be is gonna be this on four, this plus this on five. I need to find a spell I can play this turn. So, so I can do this and this on six. And then I have two mana extra to do something else. Or I do this to kill this. That's another play I have. So that's, that's one damage off killing that. Really does suck. This doesn't even have that much value. Oh, I'm just going for this. Wow. Well, I can't pick the same target twice. Did not know that. Good to know. Good to know. I thought this could pick the same target twice. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so bad. But I actually might lose the games of that play right there. Jinjari. Anybody? This is fine. All right. Let's go into three one and the one one are gonna go into my guy. I'm gonna kill both of those. All right. So on six, I get to do this, which is pretty dope. 
Alright, alright. So I get to draw six cards next turn. And develop a minion. Maybe I should have held on to this because I am drawing six cards here. But to be fair, I've only drawn four, if not. I'm really looking to try to OTK with burn, right? In this scenario. Or like, from this position. Because he only has six damage on board, so it's like not that much. And he's fairly low. Oh, the shoes touch is a minion, right? Ooh, I was hoping to be able to hit him in the face. Okay, that's pretty solid. So I can do two neck. Like, I actually hit no arcane spell damage. It's kind of interesting. Feels bad. It's pretty good. Play this one for sure here. This is buffing two things. It's like no damage at all that it's buffing. I believe in RNG. We hit the 4 1. Life sucks. Can't believe I low rolled every single hit not hitting the 4 1. Feels bad. All right. Why do you have to play that? Huh? Why do you have to play this guy? Let's do the shift. Ugh. I need to find a cheap spell I can play. Now we just have a pretty decent board. Uh, the Unholy List typically play very little removal. The only thing I'm worried about is the big legendary, and if he has it, he has it type shit. And obviously, some 2-2s some is pretty good for him, but as long as he has three minions, I'm happy because then this is value. He's going to do this. He's going to poke in the face. He's going to hero power. He's going to punch one of these. Play another minion that costs three or less. Please, one time. Because he hits this every single time. Okay, beautiful. This now kills all three of his guys. Deals one, two, seven, eight damage. And I get attack for a million. Fine, you too. All right. Collateral damage should now just kill my opponent here. Plus the Aerosmith, so it's like basically guaranteed one damage to him. Yeah, and I'm only worried for the big legendary. That's fine. Game. Giving spell damage to Conjure's arrow and doubling it. That felt real good. I'm not going to lie. That felt like such a cool combo. Kind of how this deck becomes more popular because honestly, it's really, really cool. Really, really fun. Would highly, highly recommend it. That's fine. So, have lethal on board. Is he going to let me resolve the collateral damage? Ah. <laughs> what 
12. Okay. Ah, that's so cool. Collateral damage. Like, when I was first looking at the deck, I'm like, oh, this seems like probably the weakest card in the deck. Nah, man. That card felt super strong there. Ah, that's so good. All right. Anyways, with that being said, how about we queue up the next game? Marcus? Yeah. That being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. All right, all right, all right. That's pretty good. This is really, really good. Uh, yeah, this is fun. This is actually such a good combo. And fairly reliably, like turn three, you can kill two of their minions and develop the two three. Okay. First, let me find this card. This card is also nuts. Three mana to draw two cards. It's like, I fucks with it. Sadly, the guy who busts is not a Naga. Is the legendary a Naga? No, he's not. I've never seen the regular art of this card. I've only seen the fancy one I have, not gonna lie. Oh, what the hell is this? Might be some value shaman list. Interesting. Pirates. Get anything good. All right. So this is a, also pretty cool with these. Gonna kill off their whole board as well. Develop this. Are you serious? Sorry about that, I was talking to my dad. Uh, all right. So that's not exactly the card I wanted to see, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, how do I deal with that two six? Okay, that's, gets countered. Hmm. Kind of sucks, but I feel like I had to do that. All right, hopefully he doesn't have Grumble in hand. If he has Grumble in hand, I'm probably just fucked, but... Eh. And no one gets hurt. It's only four. Four, but I have extra mana, so I could also play this to wipe right there, there. Oh, I need to do there. Yeah, I think I have to go for this, which really sucks. Yeah, let's start with this. I have this as protection from, uh... Yeah, I have this as protection for both of these, which means I could have probably... I get to probably develop these guys for free next turn. Oh, I forgot about his schooling. So I, get, I lose one here. I lose one of these. Alright, let's use that plus that. Of course he also- man, what the fuck is this bullshit? Blade Master on 4, perfect way to kill off all my fucking guys on curve. It's really fucking obnoxious, okay. Drew a useless spell. Kinda sucks. Ah. Collateral damage, top deck. Let's go. Uh, hmm.
I'm trying to think how can I just kind of fit like a surprise lethal and I don't realistically think I can without drawing some insane amount of good shit. But right now I'm just gonna die before I get a chance to do whatever I wanna do. It's kind of problematic, but hey. It's fine. Tavish top deck, I guess, would probably be the best thing. Yeah, I guess if I top deck Tavish, I'm pretty fine. I could still be a Tavish. I don't think the 2 3 ever survives here, if I'm being honest. Even if I were to take the. He drew that well and he's a fucking Reno deck? Are you serious? I give up. And he has his one of cold storage for the Reno. Are you fucking serious? Why can one person draw so well? These are all awful. Alright, uh... How the fuck do I set up lethal now? I know that I have to figure out how to set up lethal through Reno, which is almost impossible. Maybe he doesn't predict, predict the second collateral damage and that's how I do it. He develops two creatures here. He hero powers afterwards, right? Yeah, so then I slam collateral damage. He doesn't expect the next one. It's like only like five damage anyways. Now hopefully he has a whole bunch of small dudes and he can't refreeze my board. Easy. Right? Right, Copium? If he can't refreeze my board, right? And he develops some, some small amount of dudes, then yeah, it's good. But if not... Probably just fucked. He's really gotta think, do I have the other collateral damage in hand? That's what he has to that's what he's gambling on, right? No matter what he does, he's gambling on I don't have collateral damage. Uh eat the one one? Ooh, let's go. Uh oh. He also gets to eat all in my hand. Which kind of sucks. Imagine drawing that well, man. Hate to see it. Of course it hits the single two worst ones on the fucking board. Are you? Fuck this game, man. I'm just dead. Oh. I had to hit like all the super small dudes and I had a chance. Right? It's 18. It's tw 20 minus 5. So, no. 7? No, that was 2 damage off. But still, like that, that was just so bad. He's playing Reno, had the Reno one curve. On top of that, Drew basically perfect leading up to it. Oh well, shit happens. Anyways, we have time for one last game, so let's queue it up. All right. All 
All right, that's really good. Keep that. Still draw three. But yeah, no, that last game was super, super unfortunate. I want to say I played it well, but I think I could have played better. And now I'm playing this control, so. <sighs> Feels bad. Now I just hope I draw running arcane spells so this way. This silver moon is just insane. Ooh, that's a really good turn to play. God fucking gamer. Wait, did that discover from your deck? This is all from your deck. Yeah. Still really good for me. Fuck me, dead. Fuck, that would've been so insane, man. This at five, this at four, this at three. And fucking filthy. Depending on what he plays, I'm kind of fine just slamming some 4-4s four here. Yeah, I'm kind of fine just to slam the 4-4s four here so I can start poking face. Yeah, I have a hand refill as well, so... Could have done the other way around, but this way he can only trade into one easily. This is going to take a little bit more work for him to do. All right, this is... Summon a 2-2 two -two life seal change with your health. Wait, what? Change your health on your turn to... Okay. So every time you take damage. Or you gain life. Okay. Alright, I see you. Nia casts a spell while holding this. I'm just... I'm going for the Omega Greed here, I think. Wait, what the fuck does this do? I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, well that thing had to die. Oh, I've lost the game. I think I lost the game to that card by itself. That's fun. Alright, well... Guess this is my soul out. We still have a couple draws at it. Nope. Oh, thank God. Hit his three minions. Oh, of course it hits face. Never lucky. Still pretty good though. We're in a very, very good position now. Old grip. This is still at four. This is at three. This is, I mean, just solid play. Next turn, I better probably do this. This hero power. Kill something else he plays. My advantage is I could kill him through all this shit, right? Tavish would probably be the most... Well, would you Tavish? I was about to say this is probably the best draw I can actually get in my deck. Miss on explosive trap, which fucking sucks. Have I just lost the game? I might have lost the game. By might, I mean fairly probable off the fact I just missed on what's its face. The only way that it works out is if he plays three cards without gaining any health here. And I'm able to slam this. 
Then he takes 9 down to 17. He also hits the spell damage. Are you serious? Never lucky. It's Bell Jinjar. One. He takes its explosive trap, which is really, really good for me. I instantly picked that one, basically. So he's trying to trade off all of his smaller dudes for it before he goes to punch me in the face, which is really good for me. It's one spell. He's playing like a super heavy control deck. I doubt he'll ever be able to play three spells in one turn is the problem. That's not a problem with all this. Yeah. I feel like I have to go with the... Uh... Ha! Huh. Okay. Do I want to draw eight cards or would I rather, I think I would rather double cast this next turn. I'll draw, oh shoot, this has to hit a minion. So now if he floods the board again, like he just did, this plus this should hopefully be good enough to just kill him. Play a whole bunch of small dudes, why not? I got full health. Ugh. Not what I wanted to see. Oh, fuck me. I forgot I wasn't supposed to cast spells. So this doesn't trigger it, right? Just making sure. I need to set it up over like two turns where he's gonna have already a board, then I play it, have him still be worried about. Oh, fuck me. It's not one I want to lose. All right. He also got really big undeads that I've just noticed. He got like four things that had like six health. Play two smaller things, please. Oh, he didn't play any smaller things. Feels bad. Alright, I'm just going for it here. What's the worst that can happen? It fails. Play three spells. Didn't play three spells like I wanted him to. Feels bad. Off the top, really? 
Can't fucking catch a break today, can I? Okay. Planner spell, planner spell. Take nine. Take nine. Play spell that does nothing. Take nine. Play spell that does nothing. How is he supposed to fuck? Like, who in the right mind guesses? Yeah, he's playing that weapon in his deck. Like, I've only shown him spells when he played his ETC. For fuck's sake, man. What is this bullshit? Come on, just play three small things for fuck's sake That's all i want i just want you to play three smaller things if he has the second copy of blood boil i'm fucked <sighs> don't even know what the fuck i expected at this point this is so fucking bad here like this is actually absurd the fact that he high rolled this much Should have probably left, I should have potentially left this up, but I believe that he'll eventually slam three spells. That'd be great. Yeah. Sure. I mean, for fuck's sake, what the fuck is this bullshit? Just need to play three minions. Play three smallish minions, I win the game. It's the one of weapon with life steal in the game. Let's go. Get our one drop. Hit it in a body bagger, please. Just play it because why not? Take nine. Let me let me just win here. For the love of fuck. Never lucky. I'm not asking for much. I'm asking for a realistic thing at this point where he casts three spells in one turn or has three minions on the board. Maybe I shouldn't have killed Finley there. Realistically here, he should be playing two other cards. Okay, thank God. So I'll probably play that. So you probably aren't you the best one. Come on, just play it. Just play it, I know you want to. In what realm are you playing around the second one? Like, I don't know in what realm you play around the cards he's playing around. You've already seen me play two, two. I don't know in what world you play around the second or the third copy of I don't comprehend. Like, he played that really poorly. And somehow won. His, like, the thing is for the secret, he was playing around four different secrets at the same time that didn't make sense to play around. Because he should have just expected it to be Explosive Trap. 
In that scenario, his whole board's at three health, I instantly pick it. There's no other hunter secret in the game that you would think, okay, that's not explosive trap. You know it's explosive trap, you've yet to punch you in the face with a creature. And yet you're playing around the other one that no one picks. And then never place three minions. Never puts three minions on the battlefield, even though you pass the turn numerous times with extra mana floating and creatures you could have played. And you know, I have one card in hand. You should have assumed it's something that can only target a minion. But somehow my guy predicts collateral damage. I don't know. Sometimes I guess just better lucky than good. But to be fair, maybe maybe he did predict properly. I just don't see a realm in which you predict that. It just doesn't make sense to me. Having played a lot of his deck, I would not have played around the cards he played around because it shouldn't have been what he was expecting. Oh well. It happens. This deck is not designed to beat a deck that gains 60 life throughout a game. So the reason we lost to the Shaman was he played two Renos. Or he had two Renos. The reason we lost there, he gained what? 12 plus 5 plus... Yeah, around 40 life. Right? If my math is correct, he gained roughly 40 life that game. To be fair, I fucked up earlier on in the game. And I guess I deserved that part of the loss. When he had the 3-6, I didn't realize it summoned dudes. I also missed on the... Uh, ricochet. But oh, well. deck was really fun though. I, I I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, conch call seems really really good. The problem is all the nagas seem like they're a little bit overcosted. This I could see being a three drop instead. Uh, yeah, I guess these ones all make sense. Yeah, these all the other ones make sense. I think this one should just probably dropped. This one too, but I feel like that makes other classes too good if you do drop this one down to three. I just, I think this card would be fine as a three mana three three. And then this is a uh, three mana four four. This is like the, ca the, the, the cause of having to cast a spell first. A little bit awkward, but hey. Okay. Anyways, deck was a lot of fun. Highly recommend. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one, where hopefully we can get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I will see you guys all on the next one. Peace.